Hey, sup everybody, BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's well. I wanted to do just a quick video today for you guys. I wanted to come upstairs away from the rest of the house, get back in front of my green screen, and uh, just kind of sit up here for a minute and talk about a couple things I wrote, wrote down here uh, that's been going on with me and my car. Um, and so, yeah, let me go ahead and get this going real quick. So I want to first thank all my uh, viewers and subscribers, really subscribers, and just everybody who watches my videos and decides to like them or leave a comment. Uh, I just actually reached 1 million views. There's definitely videos and people that, uh, YouTubers out there, they get 1 million videos per video. Wow, that's awesome. I'm not them. So uh, for me to reach 1 million views on this channel, uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, it's, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a very small feat in a very large uh, arena. But... You get, you know, you really got to start somewhere. You get, you get a view, you get 10 views, you get 50, you get 100, you get 1,000. Well, thank you for giving me a million. Uh, and thank you really to the subscribers who come back all the time to watch my videos. Uh, it means a lot and uh, it's very cool. So uh, thank you guys once again. Uh, if you're new to my channel, please like, uh, well, please subscribe and um, check it out. Uh, so a couple things real quick I want to talk about with my uh, 2016 Subaru WRX. So uh, I've had my winter tires on now for just a couple weeks and I uh, just wanted to say that wow, it's definitely different driving with winter tires. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more luxury. I'm not feeling every nook and cranny in the road. I'm kind of just going over them. It's a lot softer ride. Um, it's, it's actually a pretty comfortable ride compared to the summer tires because def I definitely, because they're so hard, I definitely feel a lot of the bumps in the road. Um, but that being said, I can't like take corners with these winter tires like I can obviously because they're so soft uh, and they're just a different tire than I can with my summer tires. Um, we've had some still pretty nice days here uh, and like today's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day, a little chilly, but it's sunny, it's nice, there's no precipitation and so I have to really mentally, I have to make a mental note that I got winter tires on because there's been a time or two where I've tried taking a corner and I'm just like, oh my, and as soon as I tried, I realized, shh, because the way that the wheel feels, it's like, oh my gosh, it, I got to remember, I've got winter tires on this car. So it's definitely different. This is actually the first time I've actually had winter tires on any car that I've driven. Uh, they've all just been all season tires. And so uh, I really need to make a mental note. Remember, winter tires are on your car. Now we are expecting snow here very soon. And it's very possible that in the next couple days, depending on how much snow we get, uh, I may go out with some local Subaru people and uh, have some fun in some parking lots. Uh, it was mentioned that some people want to go hooning in some snow, possibly this weekend, if we get the accumulation of a couple inches that we're supposed to get. Uh, so we'll see if we go. I may try to record a video. Uh, I'm not quite sure if I'll do anything with my car, but... Uh, a bunch of the other guys with the older WRXs and STIs want to have some fun. I may record them. So we'll see about that. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Uh, a couple other things I actually bought on Amazon for my car. I bought some blue uh, LED lights for the interior. Actually for the cargo in the interior. There's like a set of 10. I put them in. A couple of the strips on the map lights were out. So I actually contacted the seller and was like, can you guys send me a couple more because these were out or, or one of the tips was very loose and wouldn't really go into the, in the map light. Uh, but they are kind of in there and they are kind of, they do kind of look pretty cool actually. Um, they were like 15 bucks and I got them on Amazon. And uh, yeah, as long as they send me the, a, another pack or at least the replacements for those two, then I should be good. I actually had some other ones I bought at uh, AutoZone. They were just white ones, but they weren't real bright. Uh, I'm not a fan of those map lights in the car, man. They, the lights are like the cover covers up so much. And it's like the little square that actually lets the light out is like iced over or like, uh, frosted. And so it's not like clear come through all the light. I'm not, I wish those were bigger. I mean, so more light would come through, but you know, what do you do? I guess I'd love to be able to find a different freaking cover to put up there or something like that so more light could shine through but uh the blues do are, are kind of working right now they do look pretty cool but i'll i'll put in the uh, new ones once they send those also bought some um 
some fog, some yellow vinyl film. Uh, actually cost me like five or six bucks and it's like 12 inches by 48 inches I think something like that 42 inches maybe long uh, way cheaper than what I bought bought for uh, just the fog light pieces that I bought from one of the websites I can't remember which website I bought them from those cost me like 10 bucks I, I think with like a couple bucks shipping or something so I got a whole thing of film and actually took one of the uh, ones I had before and used it for a um, to just lay on top of so I could cut out my own film and see for the sizing. I haven't put those in yet, but that's something I'll be doing here if, I, if we get some more nice days in like the 50s or 60s. But right now it's kind of chilly to be out there doing it in the garage. But um, so I bought those. Uh, I bought a couple more decals. I'm waiting for those. They should be here like in the next day or two. Uh, I may do one more decal, but if I have five or six, then that's probably all I'm going to do. And like I said on the previous video, they're just kind of fun things that I enjoy doing. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of um, racing type vinyl decals or anything. Just kind of fun things that I enjoy. So anyway, and uh, one quick question before I let you guys go. I would really love to like wrap my hood of my car, the front hood, or even the top hood of my car but I can't seem to find an answer for this. If I wrap that and I have it on for a year, say I wrap the front hood of my car and I decide in a year, year and a half or two years, I want to take it off. That's going to be protected from the elements in the sun. So when I take it off, is it very possible that that color is different from the rest of my car because the rest of my car is going to be exposed now, I do go from a garage at home to a garage at work, so I'm very lucky and fortunate for that. But my car still will be out in the elements. I don't want to wrap my hood if, when I take it off in a year or two, the white under the hood doesn't match the white with the rest of my car anymore. And so that's something that I've been fighting with and trying to find online, but I don't know the answer to. It's kind of like if you take a sticker, put it on your dash, leave it there for a year or two, then decide to take it off, well then underneath that sticker when you take it off it's going to be a different color than the rest of your dash or it's like if you get a suntan you put it on your put a band-aid on take it off it's going to be different so if you guys know the answer to that i'd love to hear it but um i'm not going to do it if it's going to affect the color uh but it would be really cool to do like a black wrap on my hood and on both of my hoods actually so um yeah let me know about that again thank you guys thanks to all the subscribers who watch all my videos uh, thanks for everybody who likes and views and comments. Uh, it's very cool. And uh, I'm not sure what I'll be doing next, but I'll be doing something soon. So uh, thank you for watching. Everybody like, uh, no, everybody uh, take care. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye-bye.